The Bahamas Tonight Northern Edition starts now. In other news, it is a big investment in the Freeport area, and it is being touted as another example of faith in an economy that is on the rebound. This investment in the small business sector is being welcomed with open arms. Megan Shepard has that report. An exciting ribbon cutting ceremony happening on Grand Bahama to officially open the new KMW Plaza. The renovation and expansion project some years in the making, injecting over $800,000 into the local economy. Owners Michael Jones and Keith McCartney grateful to see their vision coming to life. The vision that we had in the year 2004 when we first purchased this building is to one day turn it into a plaza where the community of Grand Bahama will have another option to operate their business from if they choose to. And today we are proud to say we have accomplished that. Even though the road was a bit rough, for those of you who know about construction, know about building, how tough it is, but we we're excited what we wanted to do, and so we continue to keep our focus and our vision. We grew up in high school very close. Uh, I was skeptical about partnerships, but I must say we've never had an argument, never a disagreement, because our personalities are basically the same. We believe in service, about helping people, and I think that's what it's all about. So we just want to say thank you for coming. Minister of State for Grand Bahama, Senator The Honorable Kwesi Thompson, congratulating the partners for demonstrating their commitment to the island of Grand Bahama. He notes that their investor confidence speaks volumes to the vision of the government to strengthen small and medium-sized businesses. The plaza currently houses several businesses, but he is also encouraging budding entrepreneurs to take advantage of the empty shop spaces. Over the years, the partners have been able to provide employment through KMW battery tire and Abaco battery tires, laundry and gas, and engage various local contractors and achieve the dream of this plaza. The KMW Plaza now houses several entities, such as Mulligan's Meat and Spices, two beauty supply stores, a church, and a section of Tarif College. Among these, uh, are five vacant units, which we hope will not be vacant uh, for much longer. Member of Parliament for Pine Ridge, Frederick McElpine, commending the duo for targeting the average resident in this business venture. He adds that their efforts to build the islands of Grand Bahama over the years is greatly appreciated. Your efforts is showing us that you have hope and that you believe in Grand Bahama and you believe in the community. I want to thank you for giving us a service that particularly caters to the average man. Uh, you yourself having recognized that tires at the times were very expensive and that you felt that it was not catering to the average man. We need more of that. Following the blessing by Pastor Frank Hagen, the, the ribbon was officially cut and attendees were allowed to tour the plaza. Artwork in the space was created by various high school students who participated in a recent competition by KMW. Megan Shepard, CNS Network News.